Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World. Happy freaking Friday, and we are going to kick this Friday off by taking a look at arguably the most anticipated model release from CGRB this year, and it's kind of piggybacking on, in my opinion, one of the most popular knife models to come out in a very long time in the knife industry. I would put it I'd probably put it in at least the top five over the last five years in terms of a budget model that just really took off. We are talking about the CGRB Pyrite, and we are talking about a new blade shape. And you guys may know where I'm going here, but I'm not going to give it away just yet. We'll get these pouches out of here, and we will take a look at just what is in these pouches. And before we get to talking about the knife, I want to give a shout out to CGRB for something else that I really like this switch. So in the past, they've used thicker, more heavy-duty, slightly bigger boxes. They are moving towards a slightly more eco-friendly way of packaging with uh, different, just the more standard boxes and the pouches. So... I like that, um, and I th I'm pretty sure these are it because I saw uh, a post on their Instagram that they were making the switch, and these are definitely different from the old boxes. The old boxes were definitely more beefier, and I liked how sturdy they were. Um, but they were, I mean, they you know they're they're just a, there's more material to it, so uh, slightly more eco friendly. Not really a big deal one way or the other, but these. A lot less material, a lot easier to just kind of uh, recycle and discard, and, and probably a little easier to manufacture too. So, winner all around as far as I'm concerned. I like the move. I, you know, it, they come in the nice pouch, and the pouch is pretty important. So I like that. So yeah, I mean. I like it. I like the move. Less is more sometimes. Anyway, back to the knife. What we are talking about is the CJRB Pyrite Bowie. Look, ooh, man, oh man, listen to that. Listen to that. Excellent, excellent action on these guys. That is one, and this is another slightly different, a little more budgety here. Uh, this is the all stain or all steel, stainless steel, black coating. Of course, it comes with uh, the cloth. And I gotta say, you know, yesterday I was disassembling a knife and I was cleaning it, and I was using some, you know, some knife cloths. You you always get a cloth with just about every pouch you get. And I've gotta say, CJRB's cloths, and this is, you know. Kind of just a, just a little side statement here. Their cloths, I think, are some of the better quality that you get. Um, some other companies, I don't want to throw shade at anybody, but some of the other companies' cloths are not that nice. Um, they make fantastic knives, but the cloths just, you know, they're a little, they're a little below par. Top-notch cloths with your CJRB knives. That's awesome. But now let's get to the meat and potatoes of this video. Let's talk about these beauties. But before we get into too much details, let's take a look at some overall specs on these knives right here. And the specs are pretty much going to apply to both of these. I'll specify where there's some differences. Uh, we are looking at an overall length of 7.36 inches, a blade length of 3.15 inches, and a blade thickness at 110 thousandths. We have a blade material of AR RPM 9 on both models here. Uh, we are, of course, looking at a Bowie-style blade that uh, I think they did a really, really good job of over at CGRB. Um, I don't always love Bowie blades, uh, but I will say I do thoroughly enjoy this design. Uh, we have a very nice thin and slicey flat grind with a handle length coming in at 4.2 inches. Uh, and a handle material. Now, the handle material varies on these models. Obviously, uh, this is all stainless steel, and it's got the black wash going on, and then this is stainless steel. I believe this is stainless steel up here. It could be titanium or aluminum. Ooh, I don't know. I will, of course, have the link below uh, for you guys to check. I kind of assumed it was stainless steel, but it has a slightly different finish. That could maybe be titanium. I don't know. Uh, but, of course, the information will be below. But the wood, the, the scale material, uh, this is, I believe, rosewood? Rosewood or diamond wood? Then there's also an ebony wood version. Um, so the hand materials will vary. Um, I want to say there's like four or five options. A couple of them are sold out. Uh, a little more in information coming up on the availability and pricing of these that I th found to be very interesting. Uh, the locking mechanism is, of course, on both of these. We have a button lock uh, and a very nice button lock. I think CGRB does a fantastic job with the button lock. Um, I don't think I've ever had a CGRB button lock fail on me. And I've handled a lot of CGRB button locks. So that says a lot. Um, and now the user, interestingly enough, the, the user for left or right hand, that also varies. Uh, on the stainless steel models, you do have a uh, the option to make it lefty. But now on these versions here with uh, with kind of the onlay scales, 
you don't have that. It's only right hand compatible. So make note of that. Uh, and the weight, the weight will vary a little. I don't really think it matters one way or the other. But for the uh, all steel versions, we are looking at 3.88 ounces. And then for the onlay versions with the wood, we are looking at 3.42 ounces. So I'm telling you right now that uh, 0.46 ounce difference, you are not going to notice that whatsoever. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, price. This is really interesting right now because I went to CGRB's website and I looked up the pricing and we're looking at about $59, $55.99 for the steel versions and $59.99 for the wood onlay versions. Uh, sometimes those are less at retailers, but I just looked these up on Amazon and over at Knife Center. And Knife Center is usually, they're, they're usually really competitive on their pricing, but right now at Knife Center, the wood version of these is $72.99. And they're 72, 70 something, 99 on Amazon as well. So I don't know if there's like some special pricing limitations going on right now to try and direct traffic to CGRB's website. Um, but from everything I could see, the, the, the best price, the most affordable price is over at CGRB's website as of right now, which is Friday, uh, April 12th. So make note of that. These have not landed at Blade HQ yet. I just checked that as well. So it looks like your best option is to hop on over to CGRB's website to pick one up. And not all versions are available. I believe they have three versions available right now. Uh, they do have a stainless steel version available with no black coating. And then they do also have an ebony wood version of available, which to be honest, I think I like the ebony wood better than, than this rosewood or diamond wood, just because the ebony wood's a little darker. It kind of looks more like just a, a dark onlay, which I really like. I think it works really well with this, but I also think this looks fantastic as well. I think all the versions look really good. It really just comes down to, uh, you know, what, what, uh, what your style is and, and what you prefer. Now let's take a look at some size comparisons here. Uh, we will get one of them off the table and we'll bring on some other CJRB models to take a look at because there have been a lot of really good CJRB models uh, over the past year. And uh, first, though, we are going to start off with what we have to start off with. Let's bring out the other pyrites. There we have the drop point, And there we have this beautiful thing right here, which I think still may be my my personal favorite just because I love I love the way they did that Warncliffe version. Uh, but as you can see here, obviously, kind of as you were probably expecting, pretty much the exact same size. It's the exact same handle, just with a different blade. I love that. And I love all the options you have. I really hope CGRB makes or keeps all of these options available because I love the drop point. I love this Warncliffe and I am thoroughly enjoying the, the Bowie blade so far. Uh, really like the fidget factor that you get with that fuller there as well as the thumb studs. That's a big, big difference between this one and that one is it's got the fuller over the cutout, but it also has the thumb studs, which the Warncliffe version does not have at all. And that, of course, ups the fidget factor significantly uh, a couple other ones just just for the heck of it just because uh like i said there's a lot of good cgrb knives uh we have the echo here uh which is bigger and then this one this is just for more nostalgia reasons this is the felt large feldspar and if you guys didn't know this was the first knife i ever reviewed on my channel back in 2020 so it kind of just made me feel a little gushy and sentimental so i thought i'd throw it up here on the table and compare it and as you can see it's shorter than both of them so it's really not that good of a size comparison the best size comparison was with, the, was with the other pyrites, which I think most people know just exactly what we got here. Very comparable to the bug out and hoag deca as well. Uh, now let's get into this blade. First of all, the edge on this thing is screaming sharp, 18 thousandths behind the edge, nice thin flat grind. Gonna be an excellent, excellent knife for EDC because it's got that thin slicey blade. And it also has a very, very nice tip for, uh, for puncturing any type of uh, little stabbing or or, you know, just, uh, yeah, you ever got to punch in or puncture into a tough bag or something. Uh, nice tip, nice tip for penetration and nice edge for slicing and a lot of good little belly up there. Uh, really, really nice blade design. Some decent jimping. It's not the most grippiest jimping, but it's it's there and it's, you know, it, it, I, I felt worse. We'll put it that way. Um, the fuller here is interesting because when I saw this, I thought... I think it looks good, but I was like, I really hope that, you know, hope that gets some bite when I go to do that middle finger flick. 
and it does. It does really, really well, actually. And the way it's shaped is it works really well if you just have, like, say you have thicker fingers and you're, maybe you have thicker fingers and like a short nail, you can still get it out there pretty easily. It takes a little wrist, but if you can get your actual fingernail in there, it kicks out very easily. Uh, and the thumb studs work excellent on this. Really nice detent, like kind of a snappy detent feel. I mean, listen to this thing. It's very, very nice, very satisfying deployment. Uh, whether you are regular thumb flicking or reverse flicking, really good action all around. You still got that really nice little choil there that, you know, it's the borderline of a full choil, but I use it with not much worry. Um, it's pretty much the same choil on all the other pyrites and they work just fine for me. Uh, so no difference there really for me. Uh, very, very smooth in the clothes, and I already said how good the deployment is. Uh, very, very nice. There's really not much else to say about the handle. The handle is literally the exact same. Uh, really no difference outside of, you know, maybe there'll be some different material options. Uh, but the star of this new model is definitely the Pyrite blade, or the Bowie blade. Uh, yeah, just a really, really solid job from CGRB. I love how they're, I love how they're not stopping with this model because they had such a good base going on here. Again, the handle is, you know, the, the handle's about as perfect as it can be. It's a great full four finger grip if you're not choking up and you still have that option to choke up and get that good choil going on there. Uh, the one thing I would like to see that I, I think would look really good on this is an improved clip. Now, of course, you can buy their aftermarket titanium clips that I believe are like, Oh, what are they, like 13 15 bucks? I think, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, um, but they are available, and they work extremely well. I really do like them. Uh, th this clip works. It's just really nothing to write home about. Uh, you know, it actually matches the blade, so you got a little something going on there, but yeah, I don't know about that. Um, I like the the one in the black. I don't mind it. A, I I don't mind it a lot less because it's you know it's black. It's it's all kind of the same. It it blends in really well, uh, and that's really good. And I didn't mean to kind of hog the video with uh with the. I, I do like this one a little more just because I really, I like the wood and I love that satin blade. But I gotta say the all black is really nice too. They left the button kind of a nice satin finish, which I think works really well. Uh, but yeah, the action is just as good on this one as the other. Uh, so very consistent as I would expect from CGRB they've you know in terms of their quality I feel like their quality has gone uh grown leaps and bounds over the past year two years um they've done an excellent job and a lot of the growth has come through the pyrite series like they keep crushing this pyrite series and uh I think this is just another step in that process I really at some point want to see like a Tonto pyrite and a sheep's foot pyrite but I gotta say the Bowie the Bowie is one that I didn't think I would really really love I'm starting to love this. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it right now. And uh, this is definitely going to get some more pocket time. Uh, love the, uh, the, the, the old school uh, style that the wood brings to the handle here. Really, really nice pairing. Really good looking blade. And again, if you don't like the wood, you got your black on black. And you got some other options too. So be sure to check that link below. See if uh, you find one that fits your fancy. And let me know what you guys think of the Pyrite Bowie from CGRB, the latest installment of the Pyrite series. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a phenomenal weekend. If you're going to watch the Masters like I am, drop your comment of who you think is going to win the Masters, just because I'm a golf fan. Uh, I suck at golf, but I like watching it. So yeah, that's that. That's a review. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And until the next one, I'm out.